Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. We've got a large scout, and I think it's in Russia. So, let's suit up. We're bringing out a, uh, I'm not gonna say like a new squad, but... Experience-wise, they're a bit light. So, I'm hoping... I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. I'm hoping that, really, we've got the protection from Tufson and from Bents that we're going to require uh, to get through this without our rookies crapping themselves. Um, I believe we can do it. Tufson's good to defuse any potentially really bad Overwatch scenarios, so that's positive. Looks like we should be okay. Oh. Okay. I'm intrigued. You have my attention. Let's go. Let's be aggressive. Six turns to get there. I think we can make this happen. I'm not going to go too much further than what we've already gone here. Let's just bring Bents up a little bit more. And let's get that meld. Meld is going to become increasingly more important as we move on here. Because, uh, I have expensive tastes, and I'm going to need all of this orange goo to make my big robot army. I'm not going to go... I, I think we're pretty good for mechs right now, actually, and I'll probably end up going more into the uh, genetic modifications. Specifically, the, um, grabbing some invisibility, I think, would be pretty handy, and that gets you out of a lot of jams. We do have the fire control with our current mech. Uh, the other one's got the death punch. Okay, this is actually pretty good. We should be able to get at least one canister of meld, and if we find another, we'll beeline for it. Okay, let's move in. And we're safe. This is this is both good and bad. It's good because we got meld, and we haven't set off any aliens yet. Uh, it's bad because we haven't set off any aliens yet, and <laughs> if we get into the ship here, I'm worried that we're going to find a whole bunch of them at once. But, the nice thing is that we have the flamethrower, which could help defuse a potentially difficult scenario. Come on, Bensi. Okay, we're going to head directly towards that noise. You might think that's crazy. But we're doing so because we don't want to set off a whole batch of them inside. And if we do happen to have some outside, then uh, I'd much rather take on like a single pod than multiple. Okay, let's move Butt Ridge in. The Overwatch squad continues. Come on, give us something. There we go. All right. We're not in the greatest position to deal with them, but we're going to try. Okay, yes, so we have not the greatest shots with Balzinski. We have the full cover, which is nice. Um, how far does the flamethrower reach? It's actually quite good. Uh, we're not going to be able to reach them just yet. Uh, we do have a few rockets, and we might want to expend one. We've got a couple smoke grenades. And we've got Tufson with some running gun. So, how should we handle this? 
Tufson could probably take out one of them with the uh, rapid fire. We could get in here. We'll have one flanked. Probably take out this one. Then uh, we could somewhat reliably take this shot and hit those two in the back. We may as well take it and hit the one in the front too and then make some other decisions. Um, that removes the cover on the one in the back as well, so that's pretty nice. And hopefully we'd be able to get everybody else into position to just take the shots. Uh, we have the hollow targeting with copped. So yeah, I think let's start off with taking the... Uh, you know what, the other alternative we have two shots with Jackson at 64. Maybe what we do is we take the... We take this shot with copped. We won't we won't get the benefit of the hollow targeting um, on one of the enemies, but that's okay because they're not going to have any cover. So I'd rather have the two shots from... our other heavy. I think I'm going to do this... Okay, this is good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now we've got shots from back here. Got decent shots up front. We've got Bents who could take nice shots here. Let's see. Shots from Overwatch is the... We no longer have the aim penalty. We've got the damage absorption, which is great. Collateral damage is fine. I would really like to spray... Oops. Spray the flamethrower. It does nine damage. But I'm just not sure that we can make it reach. We might be able to get one. You might as well move into position. Yeah, we can only get the one. And he's the one that pretty much anybody can kill. Um, butt Ridge we could move in and maybe get a better shot off on another target. Okay. Let's do that. We've got Jackson here. The only shot we can utilize the two, um, the bullet swarm for is the one up front. So we're going to actually go for this. We need one of them to hit. And it's not going to be that one. Mr. So maybe this one. Oh my god. The damage roulette is a killer. Okay. Other option. Which I might actually prefer. Let's run here. Let's see. Okay, we can't reach with the frag, so I am going to run and gun get as close as possible. Heading there now. I know this one's flanked, but we have a better chance of killing this further guy than anybody else, I think. Let's go for it. Okay, that's one. Now we can reliably use the flamethrower on this one in front, so that's good. That means we only have to focus on the one in the back. 65, come on! There it is. There it is. And maybe we don't even need to use a flamethrower. Let's see. Good job, squad. Very nice. Okay. That worked out well. One rocket was all that we expended for that. And I always say if we can hit three targets in a rocket, then we're pretty happy. Let's take a peek inside, shall we? That's promising. Everybody in behind. Cop, I'm going to dash you in. And Jackson, come on up, but I want you to reload. Okay, now is that inside? What do you think, Tufson? I kind of feel like it's not. I don't see anything spinning. It's 
probably too far to, to run to now. Okay, looks like we're okay to just hoof it into this room, so that's what we're gonna do. Try and get as close to the door as possible. Jackson, come on up. Balzinski, why don't you... Actually, putting you on the door isn't the greatest idea. Let's go over here. I want to put somebody like, uh, Copped on the door, I think. Or Jackson, that's who we want. And then maybe even, uh, Tufson, because we can use the rapid fire. Although we don't need to worry about not moving to use the rapid fire, so it's not the end of the world. And, uh, Bent, we want to put, like, right in there. Yeah, we're gonna find someone in there for sure. Um, let's see. So Jackson, I still think it makes sense to put you on the door for Bullet Swarm and for your rocket. So let's do that. Uh, Tussin, I'll put you there regardless. We'll put Bents right up in front of this door. Um, Buttridge, I'm okay with where you are for now. And Copped. Hmm. Let's leave you there as well. Okay, we're gonna open this door and it's gonna be pretty bad. The alien flight computer It's not a problem at all. Extremely useful in our own research. Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. I can't tell you the amount of times I've stacked up on doors like this, only to, to realize that we're not even close to where we want to be. It, so, we're gonna charge in this door next. But, the good thing is, is we can stack up on both sides of the room. And I think I'm gonna try to take advantage of that. Unless, of course, we run into some problems over there. Which could happen. It's not outside of the realm of possibilities if we have uh, viewpoint through to outside, especially. Knowing that we've only found one pod before, or one pod up till this point, wouldn't surprise me if we set something off on there. Okay, so the meld was outside. Okay, this is good. This is good. Balzinski, uh, run over here, and then we'll two-step this one. Copped. Um, we could put you on this one. And actually, you know what? I might swap you two. I don't want to accidentally click the door. That happens. Put you in the corner there. The reason I say that is because... It, Sometimes, like, if the enemies are back here, which they probably will be, she might not have a shot. Um, but we can still move her in with relative ease, so that's good. And let's put Bents one spot back so he's not blocking anybody. And then let's bring Buttridge over here. And I think we're okay to, to bust these doors down. Oops. Oh god. No! Why? Okay, good. You killed one. Oh, that was unexpected and bad. <laughs> I think we're okay, though. These guys are close enough where we should be able to take them down. The whole flying thing has me a bit concerned. Because our sh chances to hit are pretty bad at this point. Okay, Jackson, go. You've got good shots here. Never mind. Okay. I kind of want to just get right in here, I think. This is a bit wasteful on the laser, I understand. Okay, and Balzinski, I'm going to actually bring you outside. I don't want you to block anybody else that we may need to bring in here. There we go. Good work. 
Good work. <laughs> Why is it that I feel I've never heard that before? I wonder if this... Whatever group was inside here has miraculously shown up somewhere else. Okay, we're going in now. Unless we get jumped again. Okay, maybe they've moved. Oh my god. Surprise. We're all here to ruin your day. Yeah, group up. Uh, that's not great. Okay. I like this. I like that a lot. Plus, it kind of goes through the door, which is news to me. There it is. Okay. So, thankfully, the split on the door actually hasn't hurt us too much. It really could have. Um, the chances of us... Getting approached like that, um, pretty strange actually, it doesn't happen a lot. I want everybody to be fully locked and loaded here. And I say this again, for the third time now, we're going inside. Are you shitting me? What is happening? This is the most bizarre thing that I've experienced in a long time. Now wait, did we kill two? Or is one- I think one's behind the door. Yeah, it is. It's right there. Okay. Well, um, 100% crit. Let's go. Thanks. You can be damn sure I'm not gonna just let this guy live. Why is he... Oh, we don't get the guaranteed crit on this? Oh my god. What if? 279s. You know what? No, no, no. We're, we're not taking that chance. We're going right in there. Oh, what? Okay. Well, Diamond Roulette F'd me once. How does that feel? Oh man, this is actually no better. Oh, thank God. That could have backfired terribly. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it anymore. Forget these doors. We're gonna go in when we're damn well ready. Okay, I swear to God. Okay, fine. Hello! Uh... Well, okay. Of all the places for him to go, that's... I mean, that's actually probably the best one for him. But this is what Tufson's for. Tufson can get pretty much anywhere. We can take these guys in too. It might not be a bad idea. We we really need promotions on like our medics. So Balzinski, I'm going to give you a chance to do this. There it is. Good work. Mission accomplished. Good job, guys. Considering the amount of times we were surprised there, pretty happy with how that turned Our out. Our troops really came through on this one. I'm glad everyone made it back safely. Agreed. Okay, sprinter for sure. Mobility above all else. Uh, copped, let's see. Not the greatest aim. 
I know it doesn't impact your rockets, but, um... Like, suppression's good. I think we're, I think we're gonna take more rockets with you. Uh, Jackson... Let's do the same. Yeah, let's do the same. And Buttridge, Sprinter as well. So we got promotions on both of our supports, so I'm happy about this. 50 Illyrium, 120 Alloys, 25 Weapon Fragments, 10 Meld, 4 Computers, 2, so two Power Sources. This is actually pretty good, and uh, truthfully, like, we have tons of Alloys, tons of Illyrium, like, more than I can even fathom spending. Um, we do have a covert op coming in one day. We've got uh, Gene Lab in three days. Um, satellite uplink in five, which is nice. But I sh sh should probably just get more. What do I need here? That's right, I need the engineers, so we're gonna have to wait till next month. But that should be okay for uplinks for quite a while. Um, once this power is done, we'll build another. Um, or once this excavation is done, we'll build another generator. Yeah. I think that's okay. You know what I might do? Is sell off a bunch of stuff that we don't necessarily need right now. Um, I'm gonna sell a ton of these alloys, like... Maybe a hundred, two hundred. I gotta be careful because Exalt could drain us too, right? But I just want to grab as many of the upgrades as we can. We could finish a lot of the officer training school stuff. And uh, most of the foundry things that we have access to right now. Let's go to... Uh, 444. Okay. So let's go into the foundry, improve our pistols. Um, should increase the aim of all soldiers using a pistol, why not? It's a pretty big benefit. We could build a shiv. Gives us a little bit of flexibility out there. If we lose a shiv, it's not the end of the world. The foundry is already warmed up. I'll make sure to notify you as soon as production is finished. Officer training school. I should probably get iron will, honestly. This is the thing that I need the most. And I should have gotten this way earlier, but I didn't. Because eventually we're going to want guys with really high will. Not everybody's going to make it. And I've got the second wave option so that we can't have um, uh, psionics and gene modifications. I think that's a great second wave option that should be applicable without any second wave stuff. So, yeah. Okay. Covert off. Send the extraction squad. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, who do we want to take out on this mission? That's a great question, Christopher. Thanks for asking it. You're welcome. Let's take out, um, Bent, Tufson. These... We, can, we have a tendency to get overrun by these guys. Um, let's bring out Zhang. I really should have went with heavy lasers first, just based on the number of heavies that we have. Like, it's ridiculous. Absolutely insane. Okay, Tufton, how's your aim? It's pretty amazing. You hold on to that grenade. And let's bring out, um... Hawkeye. It's been a while. I don't even know if we have... Yeah, we don't even have a laser weapon for you. So you know what? I'm actually going to have you sit this one out then. And we'll bring out another heavy. Yeah, here we go. So we'll bring out Tufson, Bent, Zhang, Buttridge, Balzinski, and Cop to our first Exalt mission. Should be fun. Wish me luck, guys, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.